Well, good morning, good afternoon. What time is it? Bloody afternoon. <laughs> I've been that busy opening all my presents. It's just taken me this long. Thank you everybody for the presents. Thank you all the staff at um, uh, Sleeping Buddha, MattBiteski.com. Thank you so much, guys. Lovely presents. Um, yeah, gorgeous. This is uh, hand-painted by um, Sunshine Art. There you go. Beautiful. That was gifted to me. Lovely present. Look how gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, I got some lovely friend, a beautiful, um, it's like crochet, gorgeous. I've just hung it up, I should have showed you. Um, and uh, lots of health um, foods from uh, the staff, it's beautiful. Um, today seems to be a day where it feels like the war in Germany stopped in the bunkers. They threw a football, they all got out and played football against each other. And th this is how it feels to me today. I don't want to start fighting again against the, the system. I don't want to fight against anybody today. I don't want to start being negative and name calling and <clears throat> saying what we should and shouldn't do. I want to change that and let's just be light today. <clears throat> so it's a beautiful day today. And I reflect on um, 50 plus years of being here and um, the support and the love that I received from all of you beautiful souls. Who appreciate crystals who appreciates oils natural oils and incense and all the things that I've done over these years and created and work on till this day um, my thoughts are when am I going out next to um, a part of the world to choose some more beautiful crystals to work upon and uh, it's a, a pleasure it's a pleasure it's a gift um, to be able to find the experiences through day to day and uh, live those experiences and to also benefit from those experiences to be able to put food on the table and pay the bills and um, and have what I believe is a, a very happy life um, which I have so you know I don't work every day is a blessing and to handle you know, I was only just thinking about this the other day. We've got 17, 18,000 crystals on the website uh, right now. And we've had, how many crystals have I handled? Can you imagine? Because every single crystal that goes on the website, every single crystal in this room, sat, you know, um, what am I looking at? Um, Moldavite and uh, Herkimer Diamonds a combination crystal there. Every one of them I've, I've held in my hand and worked with. Siberian um, jade over there, which uh, I've worked on, uh, menolites, um, that beautiful piece that I, I just, I don't know, I'm just, when do I put it up? Because I love working with it, I don't want to let it go. I wanna, do you want to see it? I think I've shown it you before. Uh, oh my goodness. Um, when I saw this piece of tanzanite, it was just a, a piece, but it's a, it was a specimen. And to get this kind of beautiful quality and this size of tanzanite, it's very difficult to see, but this is top quality. This is like a real McCoy. And uh, azurite, a beautiful piece of azurite. It's very, again, very hard to see, but beautiful. These are like choice pieces. These are pieces that, you know, you imagine digging for this and finding this kind of uh, size and quality and... Um, yeah, when I say quality, I mean grade. The grading of this is is unreal. It's like I don't, we kind of want to let them go, but because uh, I enjoy the presence of them, working with them as I meditate and put uh, healing energy memory into them. It's not really healing. I know they're called pure energy healing crystals, but it's not really healing. But when you get them, it feels like healing. When I work with them, it's like I want to kind of focus um, an energy into them that will help you heal. So when I work with, a, let's say, that tanzanite, I will specifically feel what needs to go in. So I'll wait for a, a message. So I'll just sit with it and meditate and all of a sudden I'll feel a certain maybe feeling in the body and I'll say, okay, that feeling means that I need to try and heal that part of the body. So if it's, let's say, a liver, uh, if I get a pain in the liver, I'll hold it and then see a liver healed and I'll work on that for anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes and I'll put that very energy in so that that, that particular memory when you hold it, hopefully you'll feel it and you'll start to say, oh my God, I'm feeling better already. 
I know it sounds crazy, I know it sounds bizarre, but even even strange things over the years that I've 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 done and not known why I've done it. Like I, I, I've done varicose veins. I mean, why would you ever think about varicose veins? But yet I remember holding a, a beautiful piece of labradorite and and seeing varicose veins and I thought, okay, let me try and put focused healing energy in clearing that away. And I remember giving it to a client and when she was walking down the stairs after the healing session and she had trousers on and like she says, oh, I have terrible varicose veins. And I'm like, this is just so unreal that nobody will ever believe me. And and like I go home and say, you're just not going to believe this. I, I, I had this feeling about uh, holding this crystal and, and I saw varicose veins so I'm like I know it doesn't sound very pretty but it, like this just gives you a, a, an idea of how incredibly powerful that our spirit world is in, in giving us this energy and a lot of people say to me yeah but the, you know surely they can the, the spirit world can go straight to the client and heal them anyway and yes they can but there is definitely something in this focused healing that let's say that the house in itself is of dense energy there's fighting there's sadness there's bitterness there's grief that kind of energy that that my client creates in their house if it's not clear if it's not um a good energy it's very difficult for the spirit world to come down to meet with that energy so i've spent 20 years sharing um, the first message, real message was, you need to get your house clean. And people are like, what do you mean, wash it, clean it? No, no, clean the energy. What do you mean? I don't, I don't see any bad energy. How are you feeling? Well, it's a bit negative. I feel a bit bad in the house. Okay, well, that's probably because you've got not such good energy in the house. How does that happen? Well, it could happen because other people have been in the house and they've got negative energy. Maybe it's memory of energy of past of somebody else living there or or the memory of your past of you fighting or getting upset, or possibly the way you're thinking right now and what you've been thinking and your family's been thinking. If you've got negative thoughts, then that, it's like a thick cloud that releases from your brain and sticks to the walls. And you can feel it when you go into certain properties. So I can understand really why Spirit World was happy for me to um, do a video about lemons. And I mean, you know, it became viral. Why? Because there is some truth in it. There really is. I mean, mocked, ridiculed. You couldn't imagine how much mockery I received from that video. And yet I've been doing this for 20 years. I have lemons everywhere. They're all over the place. Tons of lemons. And I wait, I, I just wait till they get dry and then just, you know, either throw them away or put them in here just to, just to show you that this is what happens when a good lemon goes off. You know, this is like two years old. Some of these are four or five years old. But, you know, and when a lemon, when a lemon is in, in the presence of a house which really has negative energy, it goes off and it goes green and moldy. And I made a video about this and said, look, this is what how it works for me. I got mocked and ridiculed, but yet the video went viral and people tried it and people were saying, do you know what? This really works for me. And I'm saying, good, it might not work for you, but it worked for me. And that, you know, so I can understand how it went viral because actually it is very, it's a very good thermometer to keep your energy good in the house. Because a lot of the times I don't even think, oh shit, I need to cleanse myself. I need to cleanse the room because I'm too busy in my own life working and doing things. So the lemon is a great measuring stick. So just stick some fresh lemons in the house and see, see if it goes off then, hey, it, you, you might be right, guys. It might it might just be the atmosphere. It might be that the lemon's going off. Whatever you want, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Cleanse the house anyway. Give it a cleanse. Uh, whether you believe it or not, just clean, cleanse your house. Don't even need a lemon. Just cleanse it. And the cleansing of, of a house is with sage. And the amount of sage you use in the house, for me, is what I learned that the best results was without doubt the most smoke and leaving that smoke in the house for one hour and then opening all the doors and windows and letting that smoke out worked for me. Now, I get a lot of people fighting and arguing, oh, you're wrong, you shouldn't, you should let, you should have all the windows open when you're doing it. 
like, well, I did that. Honestly, I tried it for three years and I realized it wasn't working properly. Having, uh, leaving the slightest window open, leave the smoke to absorb the negative energy so it's in the smoke. Then after an hour, open all the doors and windows when you come back and then let it all out. And that's what worked for me. But you always get criticism in this, this field of work. You always get, I am right, me, my, um, me, 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 I know best. It's like, look, I don't know best, but this is what works for me. And the criticism over the years has always been the same in this field of work. It continually becomes more aggressive and more painful. So it's like, you know, all you can do is do your best. That's all we do. So we cleanse the house. When the house is cleansed, the energy in that house is different. And that's when animals come in more, they feel more comfortable. And you should always watch the animals. Always watch the animals like they did in the ancient times. They watch the animals eat, where they went, what they did, and you learn a lot from animals. And I've done videos before of many people saying that they cleanse the house and then a, a cat that never came in for a year came in straight away after the house was cleansed. I mean, that's kind of really, you know, is that a coincidence or is there something in this? I believe so. Why is it that I cleanse a house and I sleep better? Why is it that I cleanse a house and I feel better? So when you cleanse the house, it's the first step towards spirit being able to come into that house. So when I cleanse this room, spirit is able to come into this room far easier. Whether they come into that room, whether it's negative energy and you don't feel them the same because they don't come with the same energy because of the heaviness of that room, I don't know. But what I do know is that if I cleanse this room and I start a healing session, the chances are spirit comes very strongly. And when spirit comes close, spirit has an, a frequency that helps heal you without a doubt. That is without a doubt, helps heal you mind, body and spirit. So that is my ultimate healing session. If spirit comes in the room and spirit comes through me, works through me or works with me, which happens often, that's why a lot of clients get up and say, there was two people in this room, you were there and somebody else were there. That was common common um, uh, words from the clients afterwards. And I'd smile and say, yeah, I could feel a presence of spirit world here as well. It's beautiful how they come and help heal. Um, and then it goes more, and then I go more into detail and I explain this on the Pure Energy Healing courses that, you know, there is something about your energy. When you are a, a, an energy of healing, when you are giving healing, you create an energy, not only healing you, but healing the space around you. So it, it revitalizes your energy field, your force field, whatever you wanna call it, your chi, your prana. And as that energy field becomes stronger and stronger and stronger, what happens is that the spirit world can actually enter into that energy field when you move away. And when you move away and spirit works in that energy field, there is a, a, um, a divine combination, a marriage, a partnership, that then your client can say, I felt somebody. You went somewhere else, I opened my eyes, but somebody was still there. And I'm like, yeah, this is, this is, I, I, I know it, I feel it, but I can't be sure unless, uh, you know, oh, I'm going, am I going crazy? Is this real? Was, and then your clients confirm it with you without you saying anything. And then you realize, you know, this is real. And, and the problem with all of this is that if you can't see it, science says it doesn't exist, so to speak. And, and humanity says the same thing. Oh, you're talking nonsense. You're talking rubbish. There was nothing there. And yet your clients are getting up telling you, you weren't on your own. So all of these things as a healer, you start to gather not only information, but through experience and through what's happening at any given moment, gives you the knowledge of real wisdom, true wisdom. And the wisdom is, it's really simple. The higher frequency you can create, the more you heal by way of the spirit world and by way of your own energy. So it's a combination. Spirit wants to heal us, but if we're feeling bad, if we're not feeling good, um, then it's difficult for the spirit world to come close. That's why I always say, when my clients used to say to me, you know, can you feel my grandma? Can you feel my mom? Can you feel my partner in spirit? And I'll say, how are you feeling? Not very good, not very happy. I'm very sad. 
and I'll say, well, it's very difficult for them to even come anywhere close to you for you to understand and answer that question for yourself. So if you want me to help you, then you've got to help yourself. So lie down, let's clear that away. How do you feel? I feel great. They walk out of the door feeling inner peace, stronger, no more uh, fear, no more sadness, no more grief, just for that moment in time. And then often I get a, a message or a phone call, or they come back and say, this is strange. I felt my mum or I, I had this, or I saw this sign. And it's like, yeah, because you've broken this dark energy that you've created, a fear of worry, of guilt. And when you've cleared that away, miracles happen and they do happen. They happen every day. So I guess the moral of today's story on my birth, on my birth date is that the only thing that's important is your happiness. And if you work on that happiness, if you clear the negativity, if you clear the, the sadness and, the, and the, 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 the sad thoughts, the chances are you healing and connecting to our spirit world and allowing them to heal you more and you can feel them more and that then you don't feel sad because they're not there. Because I feel my mum, my mum was with me last night. I don't know where I, I was at home and I was doing something and then all of a sudden, ooh, my mum's here, I could just feel her. And I just sat and I said, hello, I, I, you know, and she came to wish me happy birthday. And it was very quick, it was very lovely. And that quick, doesn't matter how quick or how long they stay, it's like, oh, thank you. And then she was off doing her work. And it's like, because I don't do the work so much now. If I was doing one-to-one, -one, she'd be working close by me. But now I don't do it. I just work on crystals and do other things and she'll pop in and say hello. I find it lovely, but I don't feel the need that I need my mum with me every day and I want you to tell me you love me. And I, you know, I just know that she's happy and I know that she's well and I know that your mum is well or your dad is well or your children in spirit world, if they left here too early, are well. I know your, your beautiful doggy and your cat or your horse or some animal that you love, they are in the spirit world and they love you and they're with you. And, and the way, the message is the way to connect to them more, the way to feel them more, the way to understand them more, the way to heal yourself more, is to work on the negativity and clear that away and clear the space for our spirit world to come forward into. So what I shared with you today is exactly that. That will be my message today. I'm wishing you all a lovely day. I'm gonna crack on with some crystals now. And um, it's my birthday and I couldn't wish to be anywhere else than here in the academy. And every time I work on one of the, oh, I'm, I'm gonna cry, do Every time I work on one of them crystals, I know that it'll go to somebody that'll feel good and feel better. And I gift as many as I can away. And that, what, what more can you ask for? What more could you want in the world? What more is there than, than help heal the world that we all need? So today I play with my football and I play with, you know, my enemy, that isn't my enemy. That is only being created as an enemy. There is no enemies. So have a great day, guys. Love you all. Don't have enemies. It's too heavy a burden. Forgive everybody. Forgive yourself. And then that's a great start to clear in your energy field. And then maybe clear your room with some sage today. Yeah, a beautiful day. All right, guys. Love you all. I'm going to get back to work. Silly me. Silly, silly me. <laughs>